Just an hour outside Madrid is the royal palace and monastery known as El Escorial, or San Lorenzo de El Escorial. I'm Erin from continentaldrifters.ca. Let's go take a look inside. Inside, it has all the trappings and opulence you'd expect from a palace, with lavish living areas, art everywhere, and giant tapestries to keep the walls warm. Plus, there's the royal family's own elaborate basilica. There's also the Royal Library, which houses hundreds of years of royal manuscripts and Greek and Arab texts. Plus, it's got the most beautiful golden ceiling. But it's what's underneath that's really fascinating. The royal crypt is down below, and 600 years of royal children and Spanish kings are interred here. A short drive from El Escorial is one of Spain's most controversial monuments. Despite its proximity to the famous palace and monastery, many people have never heard of it. This is Valley of the Fallen, and not only is it a memorial to Spain's war dead, it also houses the tomb of former Spanish dictator Francisco Franco. The monument is in the middle of nowhere, on top of a mountain in the middle of a forest, and it's absolutely massive. Franco meant this as a tribute to the fallen from the Spanish Civil War, but it's unclear if there are actually soldiers, aside from Franco, buried here. The lengthy basilica was blasted into the side of the mountain over 20 years. Where's the controversy? Franco invited prisoners to help in the construction, and companies were asked to donate materials and labor if you get my drift. Plus, many Spaniards are insulted their loved ones are memorialized alongside the brutal dictator. Both El Escorial and the Valley of the Fallen are definitely worth a trip, and it's best done by car. For more info on how to visit these two sites, head to continentaldrifters.ca.